This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Conan Exiles video. Today we're going to take a look at maximizing your stamina. Let's get to it. So I was reading through comments the other day and one of you fine people asked a question, is it worth spending the points to get the Iron Endurance perk in agility or would you be better off putting those points into grit? instead to basically maximize the amount of stamina you have when sprinting across the map. And I thought, you know what? That's a really good question. Does does it really make a difference? So that's what we're gonna test today. So I have a setup here, I have a long path, I have markers set up so that we can mark where we stop at, and uh, we're just gonna run a few tests and see what kind of results we get as far as like where it's best to spend your points. So we're gonna start off, we're going to put the points into agility here. So it takes 15 points to get to that first perk and then what I have here is I have this set up to act as a wall so we're starting at the same point now we're just gonna have to freehand running straight I tried it a couple of different ways to ensure that I run a straight path every time and I just didn't like the way that any of those those different techniques felt for they were just glitchy they just didn't they weren't good I felt like they were gonna interfere with the results so I think the best bet is just to try to run it as you know freehanded as possible so we're set up, we're at the same starting spot every time. We'll go ahead and we'll just turn this off of solid. And now essentially what we're gonna do is just try to run straight down the path here until we run out of stamina. So we're just gonna take off sprinting. I'm gonna try, try really hard to keep it straight. And as soon as we hit, uh, well, I should say as soon as we run out of stamina, we will stop. There it is, so it's right about right here is where we were. So now what we do is we just take one of these flags here and I'm just going to put another uh, foundation right there. These flags are a little janky, but if we spin them, we can get them to uh, place. So then we'll just place that right there because that's where we stopped at. Now check this out. I even made a custom flag for it too. So as you can see that, well, it, that's backwards. <laughs> that is uh, custom flag. So that's where we stopped with the perks. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run back here and we're gonna reset. We're gonna spend those points into stamina instead of the perk. Okay, so the points have been put into grit and removed from agility. We are at our starting spot. So now we're just going to remove that so that we can run. And here we go. So now we're just gonna try to go as straight as possible. So we run out of stamina. So we're gonna try a couple different things here because depending on where you have points spent can change the results. So here we go. I mean, we blew past it that time. Okay, so there we go. There is our marker for pure stamina on our first attempt here. So putting points in to, well, your first set of points and to grit is going to give you more stamina to sprint longer than if you didn't put anything into grit and you just put it into agility instead. But that's not all because there's some different configurations here. So what if you just put 10 points into grit and then you also spent, or I should say 15 points into, well spent, put 10 points in, spend 15 points all together, you get the idea. Hit that first perk on that one, and then you hit the first perk on agility as well. So we're gonna do that, and then what we're going to do is then test it to see if we put in, remove it from agility and put in 15 more points into grit after we remove it from agility. So basically all grit with the additional uh, 15 points that we would have put up here, uh, if that's going to be longer. And you'll see what I mean here uh, when we when we do it. It may have been a little confusing. I didn't do the, well, I don't feel like I did the best job of, of explaining it there, but it's a situation where you're gonna more than likely put some points into grit to start with. Um, so I wanted to test if this makes a difference if you do have points into grit. So we're, we're at first perk here and first perk here. We're going to make the wallpaper solid. We're going to line up with it. We're going to remove it. Or I should say remove the solidity of it. And now we're going to sprint. We're going to try to go straight as possible. Yeah, that should be pretty pretty straight right there. I think I'm just gonna take my hands off the mouse because I'm moving it slightly. 
Okay, so we we blaze past the first one. We blaze past just pure stamina. And that puts us right here. Okay, so can we manage to get a... Nope, I'm going to have to do some fancy shenanigans again. Okay, so there we go. That was with our second test with the perk. So now we're going to go back and we're going to reset our skills. So we'll go back to our attributes. Here's what we're going to do. So we spend 15 points total to get to this first perk. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill this like it was. And then we're going to spend an additional 15 points. So... Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Okay, so right there at the halfway mark, that puts us at an additional 15 points. So now we're going to make this solid, get up close to it, move the solidity. Now we're going to run and see because this is where we'll get a really good idea of whether or not that perk is worth it. So... I'm going to try to get as straight as possible here. That should be pretty straight. And now we, we just run. All right, so we're looking pretty, pretty on par with what we were before. The question is, so we passed the first one. We passed the second one. Oh, and we fall just short. Just short, so we right about right here is where we hit. So we place our flag right right about right here. Okay, so we fell just short without uh, the perk. So the perk led us all the way up to right here on this second test. And spending those additional points without the perk um, made, a, made a big difference. That perk actually got us, what? Two foundations, well, almost three foundations further. So we were about three foundations behind just putting those additional 15 points that we could have spent up here to get that perk into grit instead. So I want to run it one more time with this current setup just to just to make absolutely sure. So we're at our starting point here. We're going to click apply. And then I have one more test that I want to do. And that should put us straight, so now we just take off running. I think we need to course correct just a little bit here. The mouse is so touchy. All right, here we go. Yeah, I think we're going to end up right, right back at the same spot that we were before with just pure stamina. Yeah, we were right about here, so we sprint. Yeah, I stopped just short, but we were going to end up right at the at the same spot there. Yeah, so the perk is going to be a little bit better. Now, I have one other thing I want to try here. So we're going to go all the way to the next perk here. Okay, so now we're at five. So when we spend our points, our 15 points, that's going to get us three additional points. So let's do this. Let's go into here. We're going to test with the perk. Now, I just want to see for later builds because it does obviously make a difference in your early build. Uh, so you would be better putting those points into stamina from the get-go instead of the perk. But if the perk is a percent increase, then it should be a situation where the more points we put into grit the longer we're going to be able to run with the perk. All right, so here we go. We're going to run. Now, this is perk with a bunch of points and extra points in stamina. Yeah, it's going to get us that's going to get us pretty far. We're going to blow past blow past, but we might make it all the way to the end of this. Okay, so I took like two extra steps. So we were right about right here. Okay, so that's where we landed with the perk. Now, what I want to do is respect those additional 15 points into grit and see if that makes a difference. Okay, so here we are back to where we were. So we're going to go 5, 10, 15. So that gets us three extra points there. I don't think that's going to make a lot of difference, but I just want to test just to make sure. Okay, so here we go. Now we'll remove the solidity of it and line up as straight as we can and sprint.
Yeah, we're going to fall just short. Well, maybe. Yeah. We fell just short. It's, well, yeah, once again, about three foundations worth. So once you start putting points into grit, this makes a big difference in how far, well, essentially that perk is going to get you about three foundations further than you'd be able to run without it, depending on how many points you have. However, not putting any points into grit at all and just specking into the agility is not worth it. Your your best bet would be to put your additional points. I mean, look how much further we got on this first test. So this was with just the perk. No points into grit at all got us right here. And then putting our points into grit instead of putting our, our basically hitting the first perk point there with grit uh, got us to here. Got us way further. But then once we start mixing the two, and this was with no no perk at all. This was just putting our initial 15 points into grit. Got us all the way to here with no agility perk. But then after that, once you start combining the two it, with having points in grit and points in agility, it's always a situation of where putting that those 15 points into agility is going to get you about, about three foundations-ish further every time and it was something that I haven't really thought about and um, I mean I think we did it pretty good justice there I'm not sure any other configurations to go about here to do that I mean it's either you don't have any points in grit you have the points in it or you have points in grit and then you put the points in agility and I think if it comes down to spending points because this is just going to get more and more expensive the more you put in and you're gonna be able to basically get less bang for your buck the more points you put in it where you can just spend 15 points and get that initial uh, sprinting the iron endurance perk and yeah, you lose out on a little bit of grit, but you're going to be able to sprint further. Now, keep in mind, these tests only affect sprinting. Uh, it doesn't say anything about affecting your dodging and rolling and stuff like that. So it's only going to, to count uh, towards your sprinting across the map. And also your weight is a factor too. We're doing this with the same weight every time. We're at 5%. Uh, so if you have increased weight, I noticed that that makes a bit of a difference because I was messing around with some stuff before the video. So having a lot of weight can affect, you know, how far you're going to be able to run with the stamina that you have as well. So yeah, pretty interesting stuff there. Let me know what you all thought about this video. If you want to see more stuff like this, you got any other ideas of things you would like me to test out in the future. Uh, leave them in the comments down below and uh, I'll see about making them happen. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.